Hello, everyone. Welcome to the uh, video series on uh, graduate school life. Uh, in this video, we will discuss uh, what surprised uh, my graduate students uh, most, the most uh, in uh, about graduate uh, school. So, Katie, how about we start with you again? Okay. Hi. Um, I want to talk about two things. Um, the first thing that surprised me about graduate school is how it is much more of a supportive environment versus a competitive environment. Um, I think I had this preconceived notion that I would be competing with my fellow grad students for various projects or for various grades or things like that. Um, and it's not a competitive environment at all in the sense that everyone who you are working with genuinely wants you to succeed. They are supportive in the sense that they are genuinely on your team. Um, your classmates want you to succeed. Your professors want you to succeed. Um, everyone around you is incredibly supportive. And at least in my experience, I did not get the like you know, I think grad school has a bad rap, especially things like med school and a law school. And there, there's like entire movies and television shows made out of like the competitive nature of these high intensity programs. And what I love about graduate school, and I can only speak for, you know, environmental engineering, uh, is that it is such a supportive environment. And, you know, everyone really wants to make sure that you succeed. That's the first one. Um, the second thing I just want to say that surprised me is that no matter it is, no matter what you are feeling or experiencing, someone else feels and experiences the same thing. So you're not alone. If you are totally overwhelmed at a subject that you've never seen before or don't have experience in, odds are other students are going to be feeling the exact same way. If you are feeling like you're super out of your depth or you're doing something new or you're not sure how you, everyone has the same feelings. So I think that um, you're not alone. I think when I, my first year of my master's program, I really felt like everyone else has their together and I am drowning. Like I have no idea what I'm doing. And I think the more I've progressed, the more I've realized that everyone is in the same situation. And the whole point of doing programs like this is you're learning and it's growth. So of course you're going to be uncomfortable because you're doing things that you've never done before. Um, but yeah, so just don't feel like you're alone. You're not alone. Anything you could possibly feel, someone else feels the same way. So very good points. Thank you. Um, all right, Matthew. Yeah. Um, just to start off, I completely agree with Katie on the at being it's just such a supportive environment and how the environment is so different from your undergraduate. Uh, and this is coming from someone who's in mechanical engineering. So yes, it's still engineering too, but I know that we we do have a little bit of a different, and I would say in the bachelor's, a more competitive environment. Um, on the subject of like classes, those are already so much different than your bachelor's. And that really surprised me with how just, they are even more supportive. They're smaller classrooms. The professors get to know you a little bit better. And there are so many more projects, <laughs> so many more projects. And they are very fun. And a lot of times they do tend to be not these like pre-made projects where it's more of a report on what you're doing. It's more, okay, do something related to this. Mm -hmm. and, and here's your, like, here's what I want. So it, it's more on your terms. And just the environment there is completely different. And then another thing that surprised me was the fact that I would be learning how to code for mechanical engineering when I thought I would be maybe like, I, I was looking, I was like, okay, so I'm probably gonna be maybe working on some engines or how energy works and such. It, instead, I'm learning machine, machine learning, which I never thought would be for some reason connected with mechanical engineering because I just never thought of that. That never came up in my bachelor's about how important it is to engineering in general and to just everything. So 
a big thing that did surprise me was just the the completely new environment even though you're in the same school <laughs> and just all of the new things that you never knew connected to your study so that and I'm positive there's going to be even more like I've learned Python and I'm working with R and I, originally I didn't even know that Python was a coding language so you know just full of surprises there <laughs> all right excellent thank thank you Matthew um now Daniela it's your sure. turn sure uh First of all, I completely agree with my colleagues. I feel really supported uh, in the graduate school. And, but the thing that really surprised me the most ab about graduate school is definitely the rush of time that we spend, like we actually spend studying for courses to time that we spend, for example, doing research. Because like I found out that being a master's student, uh, it means like studying and conducting uh, uh, experiments at, ex at example totally independently and this is for me is at, at least is truly really exciting and also uh, for the first time in my studies um, I really felt like an engineer and this is something that I really love about the graduate school and yeah I feel like graduate school is giving me the opportunity to feel and doing what I really want to do and and what I want to, like, who I want to be. Uh, yeah, this is really amazing. Okay, well, thank you very much. Uh, so thank you all. Uh, these are great points. Thank you. Uh, any last points that you want to discuss, Ed, uh, before we close the uh, video? All right, sounds good. So... Uh, if you have any questions that you would like us to discuss uh, in the next uh, videos, uh, please uh, reach out to us by leaving a comment in the comment box uh, below and see you in the next uh, video.